Well guys, we're on to another episode into the Mars Mode show. In this episode guys, we are playing Newcastle and in uh, we actually got three games for you. It isn't just the one, it, uh, the two even. We have got a Champions League game and also we got another game in the Premier League which is actually against Manchester City. So, we're kind of moving down the table quite a lot guys. You notice I lost two games last episode. Um, so, we kind of just falling down, falling down. It isn't looking good for us. We are the League Cup as well which is really disappointing. So what I mentioned straight away guys, if you miss any of the other episodes, there will be a link in the description, be sure to check that out. So yeah, going into this game, trying out a new formation as well, going with a 4-2-2-2, uh, because nothing seems to be working at the moment, I just can't seem to find that perfect formation, trying out the new players. And uh, I just noticed as well, at the end of this game, I'm like, oh wait a minute, I haven't been starting Jarvis. Um, actually, that was at the, the game after, I tell the lie. And um, we do make some subs, nothing really happens in the first half, it was kind of just a, a boring game, it was mostly played in the middle. We get an attack by you, how we missed it, it's the bar, deflected off Routledge I do believe, and very unfortunate not to actually score you. Push forward you, last ditch shot and we did, it was miles off target and very con considering and actually selling like Barry and... Uh, Hargreaves and only keeping maybe Roberto Carlos or even buying a brand new player just due to the fact that none of them are floating my board at the moment but we have gone at one place from 6th to 5th uh, which is pretty good I want to try and get Champions League I am really pointed at the moment on how the actual team have been playing we haven't exactly been like consistent enough I think that's just due to the trying to find the correct formation the perfect lineup we have got a lovely picture there of Cardozo who's actually my star player for this game he stood out he ran rings around me actually seeming how tall he is he's a six foot three he actually starts at Benfica he hasn't been sold there and whatnot and he scores the opening goal in the 70th minute uh, nothing really happened I had one or two attacks just before that but Cardozo is a really good player but uh, in my opinion he's he, he was just too good for me um, and he scores again we go 2-0 down it's a uh, Champions League football looks like it's gonna be a tough run for us that's all I'm gonna say but I try to count this gloom and I uh, just try new formation as well like in this game you've seen a little the tab bar as you try a new formation of 3-4-3 three, three, just try it out and I can see the two goals in uh, 30 minutes I think it was something like that but it was, I just didn't want to change it it was just any other formation that I tried just didn't seem to work we had a shot with uh, Yannick there and it just completely went off course. We didn't even have an open Allen scoring. Um, as well, I actually put Griffiths, you may notice, is a uh, D Beckham. Actually, in defence. And I was like, oh god, we got cut. I need to put him there because Williams was a bit of a flop and he wasn't standing out. He wasn't doing much at all. He was just basically, right, I'm. I am. Uh, Williams, I am Welsh and I do this and I don't do it right. I don't know why I put a Russian accent on like that. I'm very sorry. After this, I actually decide to put Griffiths up front and risk putting Williams there. Because when we actually had a red card for the last game, so he didn't uh, start. Uh, because uh, this is my uh, pl star player, Matt Jarvis. What a tank he is. He's an absolute beast. Uh, this is when I actually started. I'm like, oh my god, I haven't been starting Matt Jarvis. What am I doing with my life? And he does get a nice impact, but we do go one little down, which is kind of a big disappointment uh, with uh, Aguero. But it's quite difficult to try and defend against Man City. I remember last season we uh, played them and we did really well. We actually won 2 1. Fleet Bay Countino actually getting the goal there. I'm really missing him at the moment because I haven't exactly got that guy who can do that big assist. But we come here, um, a sweaty goal that makes me moist. And it's. Uh, I had to do it, I needed to get a goal to try and get my morale back up, and I got a play coming up in a minute, right after this goal, which you would love, in my opinion, I really like it, um, for Marlon A, looks like a bit of a red nose, but, yeah, we have a throw in, throw it down to Griffiths, he turns and he shoots in, he goes right in that top corner, a beautiful goal, the moment I got my goal, the flow of the game just felt so much better, and the team was just standing out there like, yes, we can actually win this game. I am not the Russian anymore, and we can. Uh, it was going really well until like um, I got caught on a counter. I think it was a counter, not a percent. We just uh, kind of lost track. We made no. This actually, it was a mistake. Look at this. I cleared it. It was a um, deflected off the bat of an attacker straight to Aguero. And he taps in the back of the net, which kind of ruins our morale, knocks us all the way back down to Route 1. All the work that we put into it, back down to zero. It's now 2-all, trying to hold it out. We end up conceding, guys, in the 83rd minute. 
last few minutes I did actually push for as much as I can to try and get the winner or even draw level. That didn't even happen. Very unfortunate for us. We could have easily got the win here or even a draw because the flow of the game, in my opinion, now we were playing was absolute awesome. So, yeah, guys, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked this episode. There will be a link in the description to my new vlogging channel. Be sure to check that out. And any other link in the description, check them out. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Peace off, guys.